In this video, I'll teach you how you can round values in decimals to not just a unit value, but to any decimal value. So for example, if I use the round function, it automatically rounds to negative two. Instead, uh, let's say I want to round to the first decimal value, I'll teach you how we can do that. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. Okay, so this is a graph I created for a previous video. You're probably going to see up here on the top right. And it was just to make uh, graphs look good on any screen. So you can adjust the label, sizes, position, uh, even the opacity and so on, right? If you bring it all the way down, they become invisible. All the way up, they become opaque. This is the initial position and so on. But let's, let's leave it as is. And the thing I want to focus on is this number. I want a y equals mx plus b, which is the equation of our tangent line. And you can see that this is pretty ugly. I don't want five decimal places. It just takes too much space on the screen. So instead, what I want is to round it, let's say maybe stop it at two. The problem is that when, let's say we focus on b here, the y-intercept, that when we use the default round function in Desmos, it only rounds it to the unit value. So then here at 0 0.06, this isn't bigger than five. The first value is not bigger than five, so it's gonna round it to zero. So the way we do this is pretty simple. What you do is you multiply the value by the number of places you want. So maybe I, I want two decimal places. So now you see how this is now 6.49. Now I can round this value because it's going to round it to the unit, right? But now this is six and our y-intercept is not six. Well, it, it is now, but it, this isn't the tangent function. So then we need to rescale it by whatever we multiplied by. So we divide by a hundred. So you see how here it does round it to do decimal places and it does look a lot better. So let's try to generalize this process that we did here. We can create a function. So let's call it the round function. And this is kind of what we would do in programming. So this will take something that you put in. So let's call it X and it could be a value. So maybe we could call it V and then we want to round it to D decimal places. So let's write D. And then what we do is we round whatever we put in. So we round F A minus A M. So we round V and then times um, times a hundred because there was two decimal places. So two zero. So we can do 10 to the number of decimal places. So if we want 10, uh, six decimal places, then it'd be six, 10 to the six, which is a million. But now let's not forget that we need to divide everything by the number of decimal places, so 10 to the D again. So this is our rounding function. And let's just test it if we have round. And by the way, to go in the subscript right away, I just do underscore and it puts me down there. And then what do I want to round? Let's say I want to round um, one point, just a bunch of numbers. And I want to round it to, uh, let's say four decimal places. You can see that it rounds it to four decimal places here after the eight, six or five is a six. So then it's, that's why it turns into eight, six. If I want to round it to one decimal place, it's just one. If I want to round it to zero, it's just two and so on. So we created a generalized rounding function. So now instead of doing all of this, we can just do our rounding function. So let's say we want our default number of decimal places. Let's call it N up here. So now let's do round um, F prime of A and I want it to be at N decimal places. So now it's 1.3. This should be 0 0.07 when we do the same thing. So maybe I'll just copy paste this then we have round copy paste this and we want n this is 0 0.7 and maybe we could do the same for a right 
A is a slider. Uh, may maybe this is good with three decimal places. So we'll leave it as is. So let's just define our round function. Maybe we can put it in a folder or something, but it's pretty good like this. We can put it up here so it looks good. Let's rename this to um, rounding function and the link will be in the description below. So that way you'll have access to this whole graph. If you've enjoyed this video, you're probably gonna enjoy this playlist of Desmos I created especially for you. And if you wanna join the Do The Work community, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos like this one. If you wanna support the channel, then you can like this video and really it's to share it with your friends. That's the best way to do it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with Do The Work. Mm -hmm.